Hi guys, Chris again, and on this video what I want to talk about is LCD types, or at least screen types. So TN, uh, VA, IPS, and OLED or OLED. So this is not going to be a deep dive, this is a three minute short giving you my opinion. So generally speaking, and it's still usually this way, the fastest screens that you see when they first come out where nothing matters except speed, oftentimes those will be what they call TN. They tend to be the lowest overall quality, but they do have the benefit of being able to make a very, very fast re refresh rate panel. If you don't care about color accuracy, <clears throat> colors, things like that. Um, that being said, some of them are pretty decent. I've had a couple of them. My One of my gaming laptops also has a TN panel right now. They're not as bad as they used to be. They're okay panels for general usage in my experience. You just don't want to do maybe photo editing work on them. Um, the next ones are VAs. They do tend to have better blacks, but they've got some picture quality issues. Personally, I try to steer away from them, but those are a major option when you're talking about good, good color reproduction, stuff like that. The next option is IPS. I believe that IPS tends to be the best overall. So if you want a nice bright screen, you wanna not have to worry about the issues that come with uh, OLED, um, I think that, and you want a reasonably fast screen, I think that a good IPS screen is probably gonna be the best thing for most people. Actually, I, I do firmly believe that a lot of people that aren't really up on it if they see an OLED and a good IPS, good, good IPS, next to each other side by side, I think that a lot of users would actually prefer the look of a good IPS screen. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe absolutely every human being who sees an IPS and an OLED side by side are going to say, damn, I got to have that OLED. But I think a lot of buyers are going to pref prefer IPS because they do tend to be able to get a little bit brighter, even if they aren't reproducing blacks perfectly at that brightness like an OLED can. And then lastly, there is the OLEDs that generally most users who are experts, experts, people who know what they're talking about, are going to tell you OLED is the best. Um, OLEDs can get pretty fast today. The color reproduction is very close to perfect. They do have the, uh, the downside that there are some image retention issues long term and some overall panel degradation issues long term, which is why I think most buyers today are going to be happier with a IPS, a good IPS, rather than an OLED, but that's kind of my three minute in a nutshell on it. It's kind of hard to give this one in three minutes, but I tried. Anyway, thanks for watching.